Hi, I'm Elaine Gruen. I'm the Curator of Education at Zoo America. I'm standing right in front of our Sidewinder exhibit in the Great Southwest Building. Sidewinders are desert rattlesnakes. They are venomous. They have a nickname. They're called the Horned Rattler. And they get that name because of the upturned scale over each eye. Snakes have no eyelids. They can't blink. They can't close their eyes. They can't wink. On a sidewinder, these specialized scales can fold down a little bit. They do not completely close. But when folding down, it gives them some added protection. When they travel underground, in a burrow, or when they're up above the ground and the wind is blowing and the sand is blowing as well. Sidewinders are ambush hunters. That means they pretty much lie in wait. They will often bury themselves into the sand with just their head and their watchful eyes um, above the ground waiting for some unsuspecting prey. Typically a rodent of some kind, a pocket mouse. Um, it might be a small pack rat or wood rat, something like that. Sidewinders have a unique way of moving, a very unique way of moving over that hot desert sand. They move in an S-shaped curve. By doing that, they can travel quickly, and not all points of their body are touching the sand at the same time. That's a great advantage, a great adaptation. If you happen to live in a hot, dry environment, like a sidewinder does in the summertime. Sidewinders are uh, one of the many species of rattlesnakes that can be found in the southwestern deserts of the United States. Sidewinders, uh, just like all snakes, they are reptiles, uh, which means that they are cold-blooded. That doesn't mean they're always cold. It means they're pretty much not always warm. They can't control their own body temperature. In other words, they can't make their own body heat. They can't sweat to cool off. They depend on their surroundings uh, for their own internal temperature. If you live in the Sonoran Desert, for example, um, it gets very hot in the afternoon. And if you're a reptile, you have to be careful because if you're out in the hot sun for too long, you can overheat because you have no way to get rid of that excess heat like we would. We would, we would sweat, a dog would pant. Um, a reptile actually has to get up and move and they have to move to a cooler, shadier spot. So they will often use an underground burrow as shelter to escape the heat, uh, but they'll also go under a bush, under a rock, any place where they don't have to be out in the direct rays of the sun. And uh, hot temperatures can be uh, lethal. It can actually kill them if they're in that for too long. Mm -hmm.